action. All right, so today we're going to look at this Heath Kit uh, W5M. It is a big old beefcake of a 1950s monoblock amplifier. This thing has got some really weird issues going on with it. I'll start by turning it over, show you what I've already done. So as you can see, it's got all new filter caps, it's got all new uh, coupling caps, it's got just all the electrolytics replaced, um, checked all the resistors, they're all within tolerance and things of that nature, but what we have is a buzz issue, or a hum, I should say. So we'll flip this bad boy over, we'll turn it up on the Variac. I have a little watt meter here just to monitor what's going on with the amplifier's operational wattage. Because another, another issue we have is too much current is getting drawn through this amp. We thought it was the preamp, but that got deleted, as you can see through those back two wires. And the hum should come along right about now. Now it's going to make me a liar. <laughs> oh, there it is. So yeah, that's, that's not good. You definitely don't want that in your tube amplifier. And that can really be many things. Um, most would go immediately to the, uh, you know, the caps, the filter caps, or they would say, you know, that's 60 hertz hum, so you have your main AC voltage that's coming from your power cord is somehow getting into your signal. Um, and I mean, we I've really looked over this thing and. Uh, can't really seem to figure it out. It used to be fine when we put it right side up. <laughs> I mean, not right side up, when it was on its side or upside down, you could fire it up on the Variac, which I'll do now. And we'll see if it will do that, but now I think it's actually just doing it all the time, so. Come on, where you at? Ah, so it's a bit different actually on its side. Oh, which makes me want the chopstick so I could go poking and see if any rattling on any of these makes that noise change. Alright, so we're back now and we found our issue. <laughs> um, one of the repairs I actually previously did was a very cold solder joint. So uh, you can see that that just lifts right on up, which would explain why initially when you had it upside down or sideways, these were connecting, no hum. But when you put it right side up, these would hang, and a lot of hum because you weren't filtering out all that AC. So uh, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna fix that and solder it, and then it should be good. Be connected. So let's turn this on. Fire this up with it, I think, still holding. For now. <laughs> Let's see. Uh... I think we fixed our hum issue. We got a little bit of hum, like if you really, really listen close. But it's gonna like blare in my ear. <laughs> but um, you know that's probably because of our cold solder joints. Still, um, honestly, a lot of these are probably really cold. They don't look super shiny. I mean, with the LED light, it makes them look a little more shiny. But we can actually uh, play some music through it at this point. Yeah, you still got a little bit of an overcurrent because the operational wattage of this amplifier is 130 watts. We're at 138 at roughly like 90-ish watts. This is, I mean 90-ish volts AC because this is wrong by 10. So now we're at 139 watts. So I bet you there's still some cold solder joints, which is you know obviously causing this thing to not work the best. 
But we can feed it a signal, actually. You can probably already hear the signal if I touch. No, it's not going to do it with my finger. I need an audio cable. All right, so we got this thing up on the bench that's up on the Variac at its operational wattage. Everything seems good with it, so we're going to play some tunes through it, make sure it works fully. As you can hear, no noise. All right, so that just kind of wraps it all up. I mean, this was the Heathkit W5M. A lot of things needed to be done with it, but we figured out the hum issue. Um, it was really odd that it happened only on when it was right side up, when it was on its side or upside down. That should have already told me that it was loose connection, but it took me all the way until now to figure it out that my previous wiring job was not so great. So that finishes it up for today.